Here is a fairly straightforward and short financial maths question. So it says calculate the rate, so that means the percentage, um, the calculate the percentage depreciation required for the fridge to halve its value on a reducing balance method. All right, so what we know is that when you get, um, we've, got we've got four different formulas that we use. We've got this one, we've got this one over here, and then we've got the ones with minuses like that and like that. Okay, so when it's a plus, a plus means that your money is becoming larger. So your money is becoming, well, let's just say value is increasing. When there's a minus, then the value is decreasing. All right, and then this one here is called simple interest. This one here is called compound. This one here is called reducing balance. And then this one here is called straight line depreciation. Right, so this one's definitely depreciating. So that word means um, it's going down, but you can use depreciation for this one and this one. So they'll have to tell us. Here we go, on a reducing balance method. Okay, so this is the formula that we are gonna use. And so we'll just write that down again quickly. Now be careful, a lot of you, you see the bigger amount there and you just wanna put that at A. Remember, that's not what it means. What it means is that P, P is always the start and A is always the end. So what is the, 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 the starting amount? Well, the fridge was 10,000 Rand, so that's P. And what is the ending amount? Well, that's the 5,000, okay? Now the interest rate is what we are trying to find. Now they don't say monthly or anything like that. And normally when it's depreciation, it's just gonna be on a yearly basis. So we don't do anything there. And then it said six years. Right, now what is the best way to solve this? Well, what I would do is I would divide by 10,000, like that over there. And then we left with this. Then you take the sixth root and I try to use my calculator as little as possible because I don't wanna round off until the very end. So I just leave my calculator alone and then I've got one minus i. Now to get i alone, um, I'm gonna take the i to the left-hand side because I don't like to work with negatives and then I take the other thing over so it's one minus that, but you don't have to do it this way, of course. Then I would go type this in on my calculator as I see it like that but do not round off because we still need to do one last step. Right, now if you had to work that out, don't round off to two decimals. Please do not round off yet because we still need to, if we wanna get a percentage, we need to multiply with 100. So let's multiply with 100. And so the final answer will be 10.91%.